Yep. That uses a 3.5-liter V6 and D motor to produce 354 bhp fed through a CVT gearbox. Lexus says it emits 149 grams slash km and will do 44 miles per gallon, but we all know that's fanciful. You'll get 27 miles per gallon. And a disappointing driving experience to your tax dodge. No, you need the 465 bhp 5.0 liter naturally aspirated V8. We've driven it a couple of times already, not least on crack during our recent speed week extravaganza. Although it's not especially efficient, 24.6 miles per gallon and 263 grams slash km, are outrageously fast on paper, 0 to 62 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds and a 168 miles per hour top speed, it does have several things going for it. Not least a 10 speed gearbox dot pretty much the middle. It is delightfully refined at speed, almost silent, in fact, and rides very well. It's not soft exactly, there's not too much travel in the suspension, but it smothers stuff very well indeed. And that's pretty much true no matter which mode you slot it in. From eco and comfort, through normal to sport and sport sharp, the ride doesn't deteriorate too much, instead you're aware of the drivetrain feeling more urgent and tense. And it is fast. Not daft fast, not ridiculous, but nicely pleasingly speedy. And the engine is another peach to use. So silkily smooth as it gains revs, so lovely to listen to as it piles on revs with increasing urgency. It's a honey and much more rewarding than the usual big hit of instant torque. It's as if Lexus has identified the exact person they want to aim this car at and ensured that every element of its performance matches that brief.